Hey guys, it's Charlie here. I just wanted to give you a little studio tour. I just getting set up for one of our high performance group coaching sessions and I wanted to make sure you got the details because as I've come into 2018, I simplified the studio to make it as easy as possible. And I wanna make sure you capture that. If this is something you're desiring to do, kind of break it down for you. So the very first thing is you know, I'm very whiteboard centric, I have the whiteboard and that's lit up with a light here and then to not have reflection on it, I'm gonna move around over here. You'll see there's two lights really high over here and here. I had to get uh, super tall tripods for those to make sure that I was hitting the mark for popping those way up so the reflection wasn't showing uh, in the on the whiteboard and on the TV. And the camera is down here underneath this guy. So the camera is right there. And that's, uh, you know, at about, I would say it's just about eye level with me, maybe well, a little bit higher. And that camera is the Panasonic GH5. And there, there's many reasons why I love that camera. Uh, it's a, I don't think it's a DSLR, I think it's like a mirrorless, but it has, it looks like DSLR when in terms of the quality of it. Now the DSLR cameras, most of them, they have a 30 minute time limit, which is a huge issue if you're recording uh, 60, <laughs> 60 minute training, you don't have somebody to like reset the record button. And that became an issue when I was doing course filming and stuff like that. So I had to get a camcorder to do live casts where, you know, a lot of times I'm running the show on my own and the camcorder doesn't have that limit, but the quality of the video wasn't what I liked. So this Panasonic GH5, I got rid of, well, I'm getting rid of all my DSLR cameras. I had two Canon T6Ss and I got, I'm getting rid of my Panasonic camcorder. I have just that camera and then I now, for vlogging and stuff like that, I'm just using the iPhone 10. And that's what I'm doing right now is uh, filming that for you on this. So whiteboard, TV, lights are high, and then a side light. There's no other side lights here. I did try all with two lights here and didn't really make a difference for the whiteboard lighting. So that was pretty cool. Now on the TV itself, this is a 65 inch, let me think about that, uh, 55 inch uh, Vizio. And I got it at Costco, I think. But on the back of it, there's an articulating arm and it moves out about three feet. It lets me move this TV all around. So depending on what I'm filming and how, <laughs> I go through and I move that TV around. So it's great because if you've got lighting set up and you're maybe I'm teaching here and from the TV, which I've done every so often, I'll teach from the TV and then we'll move over here. Um, I can move that TV around and I can move it all over the place actually and it works out great. Uh, and it even lets you move it like this way. So if you want to have it angled down or whatever, and I usually have it pretty straight in terms of uh, like that. <laughs> so I hope that helps. So again, I'll, I'll, I'm going to link to all this stuff too below this video so you have an uh, idea of what it is, how much it all is, stuff like that. A lot of people have asked me for a camera that's less expensive than the GH5. And for me, I don't know, I, I need the ability to have HDMI out, uh, an audio input like a microphone jack in and all these other little things and that's the camera that I finally just solidified on. It's pretty expensive. I think it's like 2500 bucks with the lens. Um, so I'm still looking for a good camera that is not that expensive but it has the microphone in and the ability to live cast a clean feed. And what that basically means is there's a, and I'll kind of show you actually, there's a way to take the output from the camera which is an HDMI connection and then have it go to this device. It's called the um, Ultra Studio Mini Recorder from Black Magic Design. And that device, you see how on one side there's HDMI and the other side there's a cable that goes into the laptop way over here. I don't know if you can see that. I think at the right angle. There we go. Goes into the laptop. And what that does is it takes the feed from the camera, video feed, and it pushes it into the laptop and then you use a program like Wirecast and that Wirecast program, that actually takes the video, incorporates it, pushes it out to like YouTube Live, Facebook Live, um, there's a couple others that it does, Ustream, actually there's a lot of others that it can do. Now Wirecast is pretty expensive but you can get Wirecast for YouTube for less expensive. And I use YouTube Live for doing my monthly trainings, that's the monthly mastery trainings, and then I use Zoom, which this all works with Zoom too, to do the high performance coaching as well as the Zoom roundtable that we have every month. So that's basically it. Equipment wise, GH5, I have a couple extra batteries. Those batteries last about two hours each. And I have an HDMI cable, goes into that Blackmagic device. I'll, I'll link to those below. Then I have this going into my laptop. There's a cable that I had to get for that. 
and a little converter because this is the new MacBook Pro with the USB-C jacks. Uh, and then on the MacBook itself, if it's in Zoom, Zoom picks up the feed from everything. If it's going to YouTube Live, that's done through Wirecast and it works out really, really well. Now for the side lights, I just have two box lights. And what I just got was these wall mounts because I want to get these tripods like out of here if I can and mount these lights on the wall. So I got these mounts, they're about 10 bucks each from Amazon and I'm going to put them up in the corners or up there in the corner and up there in the wall and then mount those lights to the wall. The wires will dangle down, that's cool, but the tripods, I won't need them now that I got all the lighting figured out, which I'm so excited about. So I'm going to be putting these up and that'll work out great there. Um, so I think that covers it. Let me kind of show you how I dual cast and that may be a little helpful for you as well. And so what that basically means is I have this camera going. This is the GH5 that I was talking about. Oh, I have the Sony wireless lav and I'll link to that below. This is the receiver. The transmitter is on me along with the microphone. You can see I have it right here. And this goes from, uh, this goes right into the mic in, in the camera. This is the HDMI out in the camera, if you can see that. And then right next to it, I have this little um, little mount for the iPhone. And I can do a live cast to Facebook Live while I'm live casting off the other camera. And it's beneficial for hitting the live the Facebook audience uh, and while you're doing something anyway. It's like, why not, you know? <laughs> so that this little device, I'll link to it, but it's like probably like 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon. And then it's its own tripod for that. So that's that. Oh, and then how I, a lot of people asked how I generate the screen while I'm using a computer for doing the zoom cast. And that's this guy right here. And it's just a little MacBook that I have. This is what I take all my notes on sitting here. And it's got the thing here with the clicker so that I can click through and click back and forth. And I'm able to see the slide deck there. I'm able to see it on the screen. And I'm also able to see it in the screen of the camera. <laughs> and I'm also able to see it on the screen of the computer over here. Oh, one other thing. I have this desk. It's a little pedestal desk. This guy. And I think it's around 80 bucks on Amazon. And it works out great. It's on wheels. And you can raise and lower this. I always keep it up. Uh, and I have that it's so powerful because you can move the, cam the laptop on or off camera. As you can see, I have my bottle of water ready <laughs> and any other notes that I would need for training. And that's basically it. I think I covered everything. Um, oh, the way that that laptop connects to this, the screen, is through Apple TV. I just use Apple TV with my MacBook and then generate the, the sound and the video because I usually play background music a little bit when we start and it works out great. And yes, that is a Guns N' Roses album. Use Your Illusion 1, and over there is Lana Del Rey's album. Which one is that one? Ha Honeymoon. Uh, I have only vinyl of things that I love all the songs on. <laughs> so I have that, and then you may have seen it before, this, this guy right here. Going out of this speaker bar is absolutely amazing. Oh, and I have a PS4. Because you know what? Got to take those breaks. There's a game called Rocket League, and there's another game called Resogun that just 10 minutes of that game and it like cleanses my brain. It goes back to my video gaming days and it's a perfect break for me to just get my mind off something, consume it with something else that's fun and strategic and then get right back into doing that if I'm not walking or doing something else. So that's basically the studio. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to comment. I'm happy to help you and I wish you the very best. Take care, bye-bye.